Hey everyone and welcome to the July edition of the Tim Pearson Home Sales Team Market Advisor video and happy birthday America. I want to start with a short message of hope. This is a crazy time and there's a lot of hurt and there's a lot of suffering and there's a lot of anger, a righteous anger and justified anger and it can be depressing watching the news but here's what I know. In order for that anger to be turned into progress, there needs to be movement and action. So I also have great hope because black, white, Asian, Indian, male, female, there are a lot of really good people. And I know a tremendous number of really good people. And I believe the quiet majority of us are still at work doing the right things, helping our neighbors and loving others. And I know this because we serve so many of them. We are incredibly privileged to serve so many high quality people as they buy and sell homes. And we love putting them in communities where they can make a difference and they are making a difference. When you own a home, you can have stability. And once you achieve stability, you can get some margin in life. You have a little bit more than you need. And it's with that margin that you invest in your neighborhood and your community. And that's one of the reasons we love doing what we do and serving people. It's not about selling a home. It's about creating stability and margin to allow people to bless others. And that's why we're here. And that's what we're about. And I hope that that encourages you. I hope that you invest in your communities and I hope it gives you confidence in referring the people that you care about to us. So with that in mind, we created these videos to keep you informed about what's happening in the real estate market so that you know how to use real estate to build stability and margin and ultimately achieve your long-term personal and financial goals. So here's the headline. The market is extremely hot for affordable homes with three plus bedrooms and outdoor space. Crazy hot. People are desperate for more space. Space for home offices, space for kids to have school and space to get outside. Most people expected that the coronavirus would make housing prices go down and it has stabilized in some markets, but for affordable homes with space, it is making them go up significantly. So what types of homes aren't appreciating? Well, as you might imagine, the market for condos is a little soft. People aren't rushing to buy small spaces that share a lot of common areas like elevators. Also, the demand for high-end homes is a little soft right now. People who don't have to move, who have the ability to decide what they want to do, when they want to do it, are still being cautious and they're waiting to make moving decisions. Now we're going to dig into this data in a second, but first I just want to prepare you for this market. If you are buying right now and you're looking for a home under a million with three plus bedrooms and outdoor space, it is exceptionally competitive. Buyers are often having to release every contingency and compete against multiple offers. So sellers, it is the golden age of selling in the DC metro area right now. If you're under a million, have a single family home or a townhouse of three bedrooms or more that's commutable to DC, I really don't see how you could ever in your lifetime find a better seller's market than right now. So let's jump into the data to show you what's happening. In the DC metro overall, just look at this chart showing the number of active listings compared to the same period a year ago. That May 2020 point on the far right shows a huge, huge drop off, a 30% drop in the number of active listings compared to a year ago. It's even sharper drop off if you look at just attached homes, a 41% drop off compared to last year, which in real numbers means that last year we had about 5,000 active homes for sale. This year, it's only about 3,000. Now the condo market remains the only place in DC that's flat. But even that market now is starting to show some signs of an inventory decline. Look, these inventory declines are absolutely unprecedented and it's because of the unprecedented effects of the coronavirus pandemic. The question is, when do these sideline sellers come back? Is it gonna be this month, next month, next year? And I, I don't know, nobody does, but I do know that until they do come back, the market is going to continue to be really competitive. Another insight about prices. This buyer demand paired with low inventory is causing homes to sell at or above the list price. This chart represents Fairfax County with homes between 400 and a million. And the way to read this chart is that the 100 line represents homes selling at 100% of the list price. The closer to 100%, closer to the actual list price. And I took this graph back five years. 
And as you can see in Fairfax County, the five-year trend has been upwards, closer to that 100%. Recently, it's got above that line. And so that means in Fairfax County, between 100 and a million, the homes are selling at or above the average, uh, the list price. And we see that same trend in Loudoun County. And it's even more pronounced in Arlington. So buyers, prepare yourself for a really competitive market. But we have experience in these markets and we can help you navigate that process and know what to do in order to win if you decide you want to. We'll also discuss how long you plan to be in the home and the future of selling. With prices as they are right now, I'm weary against buying for the short term. If you're gonna buy, I want you to think about holding on for at least five years. A seller, it just doesn't get any better for you, especially if you're selling a home in that criteria. From DC out to Leesburg is incredibly hot. Again, in times like these, it is my honor to be able to stay on top of these things and help you navigate a wildly confusing and sometimes frustrating real estate environment. But that's what we do. We serve as a trusted real estate advisor, providing you with the data so that you can make wise decisions about your real estate and your family finances. As always, we are here to serve you. And if you are even thinking about buying or selling a home in the next year, please contact us today to set up a free consultation. We can do it over the phone or over Zoom. No obligation, but we'll create a plan, show you the statistics so that you know what success looks like and are confident in the next steps. We want to serve you and it's never too early to talk. Give us a call today at 202-800-0800 or email us at info at pearsonrealestate.com. Until next month, stay safe out there and be kind to each other. God bless. You.